Hey Aries, what is going on? I hope you are doing well. I hope you had a fantastic weekend. I took a break. I was gonna come tomorrow. Tomorrow? <laughs> Forget that. I was gonna come on here yesterday. But I thought, you know what? I've not really taken a break in from YouTube. Um apart from when I was away. So let me just take a two days out. I had a lovely weekend with my kids. Bless his little heart. And yeah, we've been um doing lots of bits. And I thought, yeah, let me just take a, a well-deserved little rest. Okay, so energetically I feel ready to go. It is cold. The winter is wintering, okay. I am freezing. I'm the type of person that I'm cold. I'm cold in the summer. Yes, I'm the one that's cold all the time. So it is cold. Let's get into it. We are going to be doing a you versus them spread. We're going to be pulling a spread on the left hand side, person A. We are going to be pulling a spread on this side of the table. This could be the person that you're dealing with, okay? Please only take messages that resonate. These messages can be very specific, okay? Do not, I repeat, do not take anything that does not fit, okay? If it's not your story, then leave it for somebody else, okay? And come back next time. Check out your other readings, okay? Let's pull for a card for partner A, please. This could be you. Patience, okay? I accept that everything happens in div divine order. Again, put yourself where you go. You could resonate more with the person on this side, partner A. You could resonate with more with the person on this side, partner B, okay? Let's see what we get. We got patience. Some of you could be exercising some sort of patience here in this situation. Doubt on the other side. I release the need to know all the answers. Somebody could be unsure about something on the other side. Middle, we've got bottom of the deck, which I'm going to be putting in the middle of you both, okay? The energy, the mutual energy between you both is growth, okay? I want to expand my consciousness and my awareness. Interesting, interesting, interesting. I feel like maybe we're going to get out the cards. I feel like maybe it is possible that you could be going through something with an individual in your life at this time where you're having to wait for something to happen in divine timing okay it may be that something has been delayed between you and another person it could be that you could have dealt with somebody who was a bit unsure as to whether to manifest something come forward not come forward i get indecision on this person's part here I get whatever this is that is going on at this time where something hasn't come to full fruition yet. I feel like this is putting you both in a better place in terms of your growth, in terms of how you look at life and a situation that you may have going on between you and another person. Aries, let's take a look at your energy. I'm going to be referring to you on this side, Aries, but again, switch the roles if you uh, don't resonate with this side okay let's see what is the energy that Aries is in at this time please spirit spirit please guide and protect me as I channel the messages that Aries needs to know what is going on with Aries at this time what is going on with Aries at this time please tell me about Aries thank you okay let's see Aries Six of Pentacles. The World Card. Two of Wands. Three of Swords. Messages for Aries, please. Ten of Cups. It came out in the reverse. One more, please, for Aries. 
the magician in the reverse. That's what I was getting. Bottom of the deck, we've got the Nine of Cups. Ace of Swords. The Six of Swords is here. And the Death card. Seven of Wands. Nine of Swords. Ten of Swords. Okay. Aries. I feel like you've decided to close something once and for all. That's what I'm getting with the world card, the six of pentacles. You were very generous to somebody in the past, Aries. Some of you could have tried to overextend. I'll be honest with you. You could have felt like maybe you was giving a lot to something here. And I feel like there's a realisation that may be happening in your energy where you've tried to wait for something to come together you've tried to wait for something to change in a situation and I feel like you're calling it a day Aries with the world card you're ending your overextension you're ending your giving to no avail you're ending anything that is not reciprocal and balanced and I don't feel like this is just this person either I feel like this is more widespread I feel like maybe you're in an energy here of your of it being that you're reevaluating your relationships that are around you. You could be in a state of mind where you are reevaluating a lot of things that you could have been given to in the past. I feel like maybe you could have been in an energy before Aries where you could have felt the need to overextend, to overgive, okay? I feel like maybe there could have been a bit of people pleasing that could have gone on in your energy. And I feel like this is coming to an end and you're altering what you do. I feel like you're very much in an energy of giving to things that give to you. OK, especially because we've got the nine of cups and we've got the ace of swords here. I feel like a lot of you are giving to yourself. I feel like a lot of you are you're, you're having some sort of breakthrough through clarity, realization about what you may not have been giving to yourself. It could be that you've been shortchanging yourself, Aries. And there's a lot that you're moving on from with the death card, the six of swords. You definitely could be in a more guarded energy at this time. There's some sort of transformative energy, some sort of transition that you are experiencing at this time. And this is, this is due to you having a realisation about yourself and how... You may not have been fulfilling yourself in the midst of fulfilling people around you, okay, including this person that's in this reading, okay. Please bear in mind, if I didn't say it already, this could be a romantic partner, this could be a family member, this could be a friend, this could be anything, okay. Apply it as you see fit, apply it as it resonates. The two of wands, the three of swords. I feel like you may have been in an energy where you you've had to make a choice and I feel like this has been a really painful choice that you've had to make I feel like this is you that has made this choice okay and I feel like because you were in the energy of maybe overextending wanting to give wanting to see the best in everybody you know wanting to be the person who may you may again like I say you could have been in a very people pleasing energy felt like you needed to be in this energy of giving you needed to um overextend okay I feel like this has left you in an energy of feeling empty okay and this could be the reason as to why you've decided to alter this about your character or about you know what you choose to give to the things that you invest in and so forth I feel like this was not an easy decision for you to make here. And for a long time, you could have been at a crossroads in a sense as to whether to keep up with giving to this particular person in this reading or whether to end something. And this was a painful decision. This was not an easy decision that you had to make here. I feel like you could have felt very heartbroken in a situation I feel like maybe you could have been in a situation where you extended yourself um, to a person where you expected more. You could have been in a situation where you're the person who always seems to give, always seems to be there for everybody, always seems to extend, always seems to be the person who likes to see that everybody is OK. Very generous energy, Aries. 
warm, generous energy I'm feeling off of these cards. And I feel like, you know, you could have expected more from an individual where you wanted them to make you feel warm as you make everybody else feel warm or you make them feel warm as well. You're changing Aries, you're changing how you view reciprocation, you're changing how you view what you give to, you're changing how you view the world, okay? You're changing your whole view on balance, relationships, what is fair, what is not. And I feel like you're stepping into an energy of now looking at how you can fulfill your own energy and fill up your own cups with that nine of cups there. At the bottom of the spread, we have the Ten of Cups in the reverse and the Magician card in the reverse. I feel like you feel disappointment here. You could have wanted to manifest some sort of coming together with an individual here with the Ten of Cups in the reverse and the Magician card in the reverse. And you feel like you failed. I get a sense that you may feel like you have failed. I get a sense that maybe you feel disappointed in yourself for not really being able to pull this together, for not really being able to give how you do in order for this to come together. But something has gone amiss here. You've not been able to create this. You've not been able to have this Ten of Cups with this person for some reason. It's gone amiss. And it could be that a lot of this pain and a lot of this disappointment, a lot of this feeling of failure that you're feeling may be stemming from the fact that you overextend and you give. So it's almost like, well, how can I do all of this? And still, I'm in an energy of not being able to manifest something that I had hoped to come together. That's the feeling that I'm feeling. And I feel like this has been a realisation for you, Aries, and it kind of like a lesson that you've learned about, you know, if something is not going to come together and manifest, it just isn't. And it could be that it's just not the time for it to happen. It could be that something needs to happen in the energy where you realise this. OK, sorry, Aries, the recording stopped. OK. I literally pressed record straight away. It could be that this is what is the lesson where you need to learn about reciprocation. You need to learn about, you know, not overgiving, not overextending. OK, and this might be why something in a connection has been delayed or this Ten of Cups hasn't come together yet. OK, it's not to say that it never will yet. OK, Two of Cups is at the bottom of this person's side on, in this deck. Let's draw for the person that you're dealing with, Aries. Who is Aries dealing with? The person on Aries' mind at this time, who this reading pertains to. Again, take it as it resonates. You could be very well on this side. This could be a person that you're dealing with, okay? Switch the roles as you see fit. You could be dealing with any sign. I don't feel called to actually call out any signs. I was just looking at the cards thinking, hmm, what signs can I can I pinpoint? And I actually can't, so I'm not going to force it. You could be dealing with any sign. If that changes on this side, I will um, call out any signs that I feel drawn to say. Don't get too caught up on signs, okay? If it sounds like your story, then it probably is. Page of Wands. That is fire sign energy. Seven of cups. The nine of wands. Eight of swords. Two of cups came out. That same card that was at the bottom of the deck. Two came out instead of the ones. I'll take them. Page of Swords, Six of Wands. 
bottom of the deck we've got the ten of swords for this person king of coins ace of wands judgment king of wands ace of swords you've got that as well four of swords is in the reverse okay hermit energy could be a virgo aries exactly as the card says doubt which i drew for at the top of the reading aries I can see from the cards, this person's very um, conflicted mentally. I feel like you're dealing with somebody who may be unsure about what they want in their life in general. I feel like you may be dealing with somebody who is very free-spirited. You could be dealing with somebody who you may have found that, you know, there was a lot of indecision in this situation. You could have felt like this person was a bit confused. You could have felt confused dealing with this person. And it's because this person has a lot of doubt in them. I feel like this person may suffer from a lot of um, insecurity here. Whether they say this to you or not, I get a sense that this person is... Um, they possibly mask how they... The, their emotions or how they feel this person could come across as very confident this person could come across as somebody who kind of um is very successful very much very much likes to be liked if you get my drift you know this is a person who you know on the face of it doesn't really like to talk about or reveal things of 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 a deeper emotive nature this person could be very surface level and as a result of that that could be how you may have struggled to get on the same page with somebody here you could be dealing with a fire sign okay that's all i feel drawn to say at this time okay we do have air sign we've got we've got all signs here okay sorry there's a fruit fly Page of one, seven of cups. This is a person who's very confused. This is a person who... Uh, this is a person who's very lost. They're lost. I feel like maybe this person has been hurt in the past and wounded. And this puts them in a very stuck energy. I feel like this may be a person who could be scared of commitment or scared of um responsibility in some way this could be a person who shies away from any sort of responsibility i feel like you may have been dealing with somebody here who when things get serious or when things kind of get real okay in a situation this person may tend to close down or show a lot of um indecision this is a very confused person this person is thinking about commitment though okay so let's let's move on from that i'm just really stuck in this this energy of confusion this person's really confused in life in general and I, i'm going to clarify like why that is or where that may stem from This person could have good could go this person could um suffer from some sort of um anxiety the two of cups is here okay the two of cups is here this is a person who is thinking about commitment this could be a person who's thinking about you we are going to clarify here I feel like this person does view you as somebody who they would like to partner up with. And I definitely see that with the Page of Swords. This person keeps a watchful eye on you. So you may have closed this out. This could be somebody who maybe there's not really much going on. You could not really be involved with this person at this time. But this person views you as somebody who's very accomplished. This person views you as somebody who's very much favoured. 
They could be viewing you gain some sort of notoriety or success in your life at this time. And this is kind of making them look at commitment. This is making them kind of think about, you know, what could have been between the two of you. I very much get that, okay? I feel like this person is kind of thinking about, you know, what could have been. The fact that maybe they could have been kind of with you, um, standing beside you in this, this, this Six of Wands energy, this success here. But instead, they're kind of standing on the sidelines, looking in. That's what I'm getting. But it's due to something that's going on internally with them that they couldn't, they couldn't choose this. They couldn't choose this. And I feel like you're disappointed at this. Let's grab some clarifiers here. Ten of Cups. I'm going to clarify on your side here what this um, Magician and the Ten of Cups, both in the reverse, is here. Don't be too hard on yourself, Aries. This person has got a lot going on interle internally. And I feel like I feel like I want to say at this point, don't beat yourself up because if something hasn't come together and you blame yourself for the fact that maybe you could have dealt with somebody who, again, look, you're, you're disappointed. I, I was just, I, I looked down and there's the five of cups and the 10 of cups. You're really sad about what could have been. I feel drawn to say, you know, if you couldn't manifest something with somebody, if you couldn't, you can't make somebody be ready for what you're ready for. You can't force somebody or spoon feed somebody to, to have something that you want or that you want to give to them. If, does that make any sense whatsoever? I feel like I've just rambled there. But this is a person who has other struggles, other things going on mentally. So this person would have never have been open to, to doing this with you. And this is something that you need to not beat yourself up about. There's underlying reasons as to why this person is the way that they are. And I'm going to try and clarify and see. What is this Magician card and the Ten of Cups? Oh, that came out. The Nine of Swords. supposed to be upright thank you spirit seven of swords you could have felt that this person lied to you or deceived you in some way again there's that world card energy you're 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 really mentally going through it the fact that you couldn't have this come together you could be in anxiety right now, feel really mentally stuck. You're sad about this. You are. And again, like I was explaining on your side, Aries, it's been painful to decide to close this out. We've got the world card here twice. You've closed out the cycle. You have. But that doesn't stop you feeling disappointment and caught up on a situation that you felt that you could have manifested and given to that didn't come together because somebody was not in a place they weren't mentally in a place they may have told you they were which again like I touched upon this is a person who may come across in a very different way to how they feel mentally and this is wrong on their part that they could have led you on this person could have gave you the impression that maybe there was a chance that you guys could come together but mentally it, they weren't there they weren't there with it they they couldn't i feel like you had a lot of love for this person and passion you could have tried to manifest some sort of new beginning. You could have dealt with a Scorpio. And this is why you're mentally conflicted. Because I feel like you showed a lot of drive. You were very hot on the sleeve type of energy. You gave a lot of patience. King of Cups. Very patient energy. And you're mentally conflicted. 
I'm going to need you to try Aries to, and you probably know this, I'm probably not telling you anything you don't already feel yourself if you're watching this and you've got to this point in the reading. I'm going to need you to really try and work on, you know, not sitting in the energy of disappointment and beating yourself up because whoever I'm speaking to, you're beating yourself up over a ten of cups that you couldn't manifest with this individual. Okay, we're going to move over here. What is this person, what is what is their mind state at this time? Nine of Wands, Eight of Swords. Six of Swords. Ten of Pentacles in the reverse. And the Eight of Wands. One more. Two of Wands in the reverse. Temperance in the reverse. This person is very mentally conflicted. The hangman, the hanged man. This person moved away from you. And I feel like the reason as to why, I feel like this person could come from some sort of dynamic in their family where things may not have been conventional. Now, nobody, everybody's family or family situation or upbringing is 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 very different no two families are alike no two upbringings are alike and that's the beauty of the world you know if everything was the same you know it, it wouldn't it wouldn't be character char there wouldn't be character to the world there wouldn't be you know in, it wouldn't be interesting if everything was just black and white that's why we have color okay but i feel like this person in their minds mentally maybe felt as though something was amiss because something about a comfort zone okay this person could come from maybe dysfunction or something where they may have grown up in 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 some sort of dynamic in their family where things could have been very turbulent it could have been very in and out this person for instance could have come from a home where the dynamic was not peaceful And I feel like this person withdrew from you and made a decision through this, through this insecurity, you know, through this not feeling comfort, you know, wanting to go back to some sort of comfort zone. Because we've got the six of swords here and the uh, ten of pentacles in the reverse with this um, eight of wands. This person ran back to what they feel comfortable in. And what they feel comfortable in, we've got the two of wands in the reverse and the temperance in the reverse. You know, this is not a settled energy. This is an energy of possible deep dysfunction. This is a, a, an energy of not feeling peace. And where they've come from is, is turbulent. Hanged man. There's, just, there's a shift in perspective where this person needs to see something differently, where they're thinking small. This person, yeah, this person views commitment as something that they can't have or attain. This could be a person, for instance, we've got the four of wands with that six of wands in the reverse. This person could view commitment as something that they're, they don't deserve or they can't attain. Or you'll be surprised how many people in this world feel like they don't deserve to be happy due to where they they are or how they've been brought up or their upbringing you know their influence growing up if you watch time and time again your family dynamic kind of be very turbulent very um not conventional you know a lot of ups and downs possibly a lot of fighting in a home or a lot of toxic family dynamics and that that can vary that there's there's a very it's very vague to just put that umbrella up there and just say that but you know i'm not gonna i'm gonna be vague with that because family dynamics are so widespread you know but i feel like whatever this person has come from it, it's not been the most settled so growing up it's almost like you know to adulthood now we're trying to manifest a relationship and a ten of cups situation it, they would be conflicted because any anything different to what they're used to is going to feel like 
not comfortable to them and i feel like this is a person who doesn't feel comfortable or didn't feel comfortable with what was on the table here knight of swords yeah they, they grew up in 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 wow but they do want this you see how it flipped i wasn't even supposed to grab that card the knight of swords they do want stability in their life but they're not very grounded and i feel like that's due to their roots their their roots that they come from what is this page of swords six of wands they view you as somebody who's very successful nine of cups it's interesting two of cups is here again they definitely view you as somebody who they could have a partnership with wish fulfillment and they also view you as somebody who is successfully sitting in an energy of fulfilling self now uh, it's interesting how that came out like that that's how they view you somebody who is successfully filling their own cup who's successfully trying to manifest something for themselves but they feel like they they they're not ready for that they feel like then they can't manifest that with the page of wands in the reverse they feel inadequate queen of wands the tower very confident energy that you're stepping into and this is explosive to them they could view you as a bombshell i don't know why i'm getting that and I hope I don't get flagged, you know, with everything that's going on in the world. I'm mean, using that B word. Maybe I shouldn't have said it because YouTube, I know there's rules and regulations here, but I didn't mean it in any offensive sense. You know, when they say somebody's very show stopping, somebody's very, very much attractive. And with the page of wands in the reverse, it doesn't really correlate. You know, the queen of wands to the page of wands in the reverse with the two of cups. They view you as somebody who they would love to partner up with. But it's almost like, you know. They feel like it's out of their reach. I feel like this person will need to, they feel like they will need to have a lot of confidence and kind of meet you where you are and where they've come from and how ungrounded they feel. I don't feel like this person is very confident in themselves at this time. Queen of Cups is in the reverse. Emotionally, I feel like this person has um, imbalance as well. So it's quite a sad energy let's pull a couple to see the outcome temperance in the reverse the same energy over here i feel like this person is um they're not balanced they need to do some sort of work on that Ten of Pentacles in the reverse. It's the same cards. It's the same energy. Ace of Pentacles. The Knight of Swords. You see how that flipped? Do you see when I, I did that? Do you rewind the video? And I took out that Knight of Swords. And then I went like that with the card. And then the Ace of Pentacles came out. And I showed you. But I did put it back in the other deck. This is a person who really wants this. They really want this chance. Judgment card is here. This is a person who wants this chance, wants this. It came out together that Knight of Swords and the Ace of Pentacles with the judgment. This person would do anything to have this chance with you. They would. They view you as wish fulfillment. This is really frustrating. But this person is so limited because of how they've grown up, how, you know, their influence. They could have a lot of people around them who may not direct them in the best way or give them poor advice as well. They want to come out of this energy of being stuck. One more, please. Seven of cups in the reverse. The two of cups in the reverse. I do see something that's not coming together now as it stands. And it could be that it's because this person needs to change their outlook on, you know, what they can have. The Queen of Cups. You have a lot of patience and love for this person. Again, I get that patience energy. You know, you could have been very patient, compassionate to this person. You know, try to give them a chance to get it together. But I feel like there's, there's a lot of work that this person needs to do. This person needs to rid themselves of self-doubt. I feel like this person will do anything to have a chance with you. But I feel like what's keeping them back is their their view on themselves, their view on how they look at relationships has a lot to do with the fact that they're in this very ungrounded, unsettled energy. And I feel like they, they are stuck in this energy at this time, sadly. 
this is something that is going to continue here so i feel like you've done the right thing aries of moving yourself forward i don't feel like you did this lightheartedly it's it's been painful because you have a lot of love for this person and you're a person who definitely lays it out on the table and, and and is ready to give you've got a lot of patience okay but this person is 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 they have something in them where they need to do some sort of work and you're dealing with somebody here who would love and do anything to have that with you they view you in very high regard they view you as somebody who they could have it with you know two of cups came out twice here but the self-doubt is what gets this person and they feel like it's because of their view on, on their family. I just get a sense of them coming from some sort of dysfunction or something. The way that, the way that they view family, the way that or an, even an influence in their family could be the issue is why this is an opportunity that may be lost if this person can't do the work because there is an opportunity here but at the moment i feel like it's in the balance i'm not seeing it sway either way i feel like this for now is going to be staying how it is in this energy if this is your reading maybe things might change in the future but i feel like it's this person that needs to um reform something about their energy maybe who they're around maybe their family isn't the best influence on them and it keeps them small It could be as well, I just got this, it could be as well that this person needs to kind of come out of this a, a, a warped, they've got a warped view on relationships that maybe relationships don't work or there's inevitably going to be a disconnect and it could be that they maybe come from a home where they may have been very, a parent could have been very in and out or disconnected from them and from their family, which is where this could stem from. And there could be something around them changing that view of all relationships are not successful or no relationship can ever be successful. As if a, a good family dynamic is not possible for them to produce because of what they've come from. Very deep energy. I, I, I feel like I've just been lost in this person's energy. This person is very confused. This person has a lot of work to do here. I'm going to leave you there, Aries. I hope that wasn't jumbled. I feel like that was a bit jumbled, but... It's for somebody. You take care, Aries. I will see you soon. Bye.